might want to turn your uh, video off. It might help the audio a little. Oh, try that. So, um, so if second grade is your oldest, can you hear us, Jane? Yeah. Okay. Um, if second grade is your oldest, I personally um, would probably avoid all online schooling. Um, <laughs> yeah. because there's just no, there's just no point. Um, well, well, yeah. put it online schooling as in a full online program. <laughs> right. Okay. There, yeah, there, there are some fun little things add-ons. Add yes, exactly. There are fun little add-ons. There's a lot of fun like math, math games and things like that you can do. Reading games are awesome, but it's second grade. Like there's no reason they need to be sitting at a computer for any <laughs> hours. <laughs> any you can homeschool hours. second grade in like two hours, not even. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Second grade, I think, yeah, like an hour and a half. Um, so then my question would be, what kind of programs are there where it's not, where it's meeting the state requirements in the curriculum, but it's not uh, a computer requirement or an online meeting requirement? Um, again, for second grade, um, I, I'm just really quoting Sarah's mom. Um, who basically said, who was a teacher, it basically says, you know, they know how they, you know, have, have, they have to learn how to read, have some math, um, and, you know, have a basic understanding of some science, and, you know, you're okay. Every, everything else is about learning about the world around you when it's not about reading, writing, arithmetic, like, you, you can just learn that through nature study and walking and stuff. So it's not always necessary. And when it comes to accreditation, just like we were talking about earlier, if you only want to bring your second grader home for this year because of the worry and you want to send them back next year, they're not going to be worrying about every single detail got down. As long as she's still generally with her peers, they will go ahead and put her with their peers and allow her to continue on. Whether you use a six hour a day online accredited program or whether you pick up a math program a reading program and explore the world together uh, okay i feel like i'm missing something though because isn't there some sort of like formal program that we have to do as homeschoolers for the state or no <laughs> or no are you in michigan yeah yes no then no. <laughs> no. that's what we're so lucky in michigan we're so lucky that you don't mm -hmm. So I write to school letter, tell them that I'm homeschooling, and then what? That's it. Teach my kid everything I think is appropriate for her age, and enjoy the world with her, and go about life. Yep. Yeah, exactly. That would be, you know, okay. go on to all these Facebook forums. Look at some of the different curriculums that are recommended. Go to um, what are, what are, what are the couple? The what are some of the good curriculum sites? Uh, Mayor, is yeah. what that Wild yeah. wood, right? Wild well, wood, you like? Yeah, there's yeah. a curriculum sale in, uh, I think it's Clarkson Community Church, like on the 29th, if you felt comfortable going out and there's a book sale. I don't know if you felt But there's a million blog articles, a million it? reviews, a million different curriculums, and just taking change. the time to read through and see what really seems to work for you, especially if it's only going to be a year or two or something like that. You can yeah, easily can. find stuff that, 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 that you love. Actually, you can find a so lot I of things. I her for pre -K. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm so sorry, Jane. I homeschooled her for pre K. Okay. okay. Are you looking for like um, suggestions for curriculum? For that age? Um, um, yeah, I guess I didn't realize. I thought, like, I I homeschooled her for pre K. Oh, I think she's gone. Yeah. I've um, never 
that problem where you they, it's, it's so in and out <laughs> yeah i know um yeah maybe you can uh, i'm here i'm messaging oh, oh I right. saw, yes. this popped up okay i haven't done those grades in a while so anyone who's doing that grade now or just done it maybe you can give her some suggestions yeah, i'm gonna say like matthew c all about reading i know you don't like matthew c some people don't like it but but it's something to try and honestly yeah. even if she just googles um a lot of science when I told people I was going to stop doing science, I told them Google Pinterest energy experiments and, or, or, and you would not believe what is out there. There are so many things. And Teachers Helping Teachers is a great site because oh, yeah. they do cool stuff. And we, 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 we have heard um, uh, of people who've been homeschooling for more years joke about how we've gone from the opposite extremes. We've gone from nothing and people making up their own stuff to way too many choices. Just this is an overload with the amount of different programs are, are out there. And whether you want to choose a whole box kit, if you wanted the easiest way to just homeschool at home with less thought, then a box kit that just sends you all the supplies is a really great choice. Um, I like the flexibility of choosing different curriculums that, that fit and tweak for us individually. But for some a year, that might be an option just to get that box kit, do their year, and have it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what I did my first year. I went on Timber Doodle and got the whole kit. It was like $500. You got everything you needed, every subject. But then again, I, was, I felt more comfortable year after year choosing what I wanted to but I was gonna say a good science thing is mystery science mystery science oh, mystery yeah. dog. we love mystery yeah. dog yeah so, mystery yeah. science is a good one for and it's sure free, unless you want to pay for it for more and even if you like the idea of continuing past the first year like I I kind of hate when all the homeschoolers um the veteran homeschoolers jump on the newbie preschooler saying don't do anything for preschool, just enjoy life. I mean, that's all the child truly needs in preschool. But me taking those two years to use something more, more structured, to get myself used to, to, to do read and learn and do, made me feel really confident and ready come kindergarten, first grade. So taking that time to play and do and taking using that box curriculum for one year as you get your confidence and learn and do, and then you can figure out more more uh, uniquely how you want to do it later. Mm -hmm. Rochelle, did you have something to say? Yeah, my question is less educational, no offense, but social because when we did homeschool, we were never home. We were out with people, we were doing this and that. How are the kids who are currently homeschooling dealing with, because I would guess a lot of their socialization is virtual now too. Are there any co-ops that like are planning to be open in the next year? Or There's a lot vacation? actually. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Most so, it seems. Yeah. Are planning to be in person? Where are you at, Rochelle? Oh, uh, commerce. Oh, really oh you're close to me. Yeah, I'm oh. in Waterford. Um, our home team, it's at, um, it used to be called Faith. I mean, it's Faith home team. But we're out in Dixie Baptist Church, and they're still going to be continuing to see people. I think it's every other week. I don't know. They might do it weekly, but usually it's every other Thursday. And they're fun classes for the kids, so they plan on meeting. And OMI, Oakland Homeschool Music in Waterford, plans on opening. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't so will know. they just do that with smaller numbers in, in classrooms then, or social distancing? Yeah. And masks, so maybe. I know home team was thinking of doing like every other week, so being weekly, but the kids would still only be going every other week to like make the group smaller. But they are very strictly no masks. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know Homeschool Connections is opening, right? I heard they're <laughs> opening. I've heard that they are. They're definitely going to do stuff. And um, I've had friends get notes from the hybrid. So, yeah they're it's still like a walk it's a it's a step in person like they're kind of going in little steps okay this is something we're thinking about and they've even asked people's like kind of ideas like how do you feel about this yeah. um i forget which one of them did a survey to find out what parents were kind of where parents were at 
And that's what I think, Rochelle, it's going to depend on your comfort yeah. level. There's going to be groups, because some people are choosing to homeschool about COVID because they don't like these stupid masks and the stupid social distancing. And some people are like, that's still not enough. I need to keep my kids away from it. So there's still going to be groups that are going to get together and be play-playing. There's still going to be a lot of groups doing, but there's going to be groups that are going to have social distancing and masking. Personally, we probably aren't going to be able to do anything this year because George is high risk and our doctor told us that we need to keep the kids away from physical play with other people. And Rochelle, do you think I can keep my crew from playing? You know my crew. Do you think no, I can I keep my, get my crew around kids? I don't so know unfortunately, that we're so I think, um, I think I there's going to be able to know. find whatever socialization that's going to make you comfortable. I think whatever it is, it's going to be available as long as you're in the groups and look for it or even help create your own. And I know that are your kids dealing with the virtual socialization. I have friends who have younger children all the way down from four and up and they, um, have been doing Zoom meetings and most of them have really enjoyed it. And they do silly things as I was telling the ladies earlier, like playing Barbies just by Zoom. So one Zoom TV is on, one Zoom TV is on, and they're having conversations with each other as if they would, if they were in the same space. So well, they- They get used to things reading. easily. Mm -hmm. You right. know, with how, you know, my kids are lucky they have each other, but I think they're dealing with this life change way better than I am. Right. <laughs> oh, Amanda. Oh. Yes, Amanda. Hi. Okay. Um, my daughter, my eight-year-old especially, is using Facebook Messenger Kids a lot, yeah. um, but she doesn't have very many contacts. Like, does anyone know of um, more of an online I homeschooling do. connection I that I could use? Yeah, okay. check out OutSchool. And I have been using that. And I teach on OutSchool, too. So, yeah, I, there's so many fun classes there that my kids even love taking. Like, it's a Extra social it might be a really good idea, like we were talking about earlier, about setting up Zooms for age groups. Right. To start meeting each other. Because, yeah, if they, if, if you know, maybe because, you know, my son's nine, um, maybe if my, my son and your daughter talk, they might, you know, enjoy each right. other's company enough to become Facebook friends and have yet another person to at least chat for those few moments with <laughs> that they need more of. Right. Another site that we've been all using, us ladies, is the 4-H site. Right. Mm -hmm. And they have amazing online programs. Mm -hmm. It's Bay County um, 4-H. It's on Facebook, uh, if you look them up. Because they have AmeriCorps people who are usually teaching classes and all there. So they have to do something. We've been getting all sorts of, uh, like, their zoo zipping, um, learning about all different animals, learning about uh, all around the world, like, uh, all around the country, road tripping, oh, geography type yeah. class. And they're yeah. a lot of the kids, same kids in the class, which is nice. So yeah. they see each other, and the teacher's the same, and they get that connection. Mm -hmm. So, thank you.